In my last video, I talked about adhesives and their negative implications for sustainability. As part of that video, I talked about how if we are to use adhesives, for example, in small devices that require them, such as phones where other fastening methods would prove impractical, we should opt to use biodegradable adhesives that wash away from the parent material prior to recycling at the end of that product's life cycle. One such type of adhesive is thumb plastic or gelatinized starch. I've made this before, but I've never tried using it as an adhesive, so today I'm going to do just that. Of course, the first thing we need to do is make some gelatinized starch. And it's surprisingly simple. All we need is a source of starch and an acid to partially hydrolyze it. Starch is mainly composed of two long chain polymers that are amylose and amylopectin. And when treated with an acid, the amylopectin breaks down into amylose and dextrin. And this forms the bulk of our new polymer. Here I'm using potato starch, but any kind of starch will do, such as cornstarch, or even possibly plain flour. For the acid, you can use any acid, even common household friendly items, such as vinegar or citric acid. Here I'm using the latter. You can also add varying amounts of vegetable glycerin as a plasticizer, and in hindsight, I probably should have, but I just wanted to keep this demonstration simple. So let's get started. To start, I weighed out 4.5 grams of potato starch and about 1.2 grams of citric acid which was later dissolved in water. The potato starch was added to a glass petri dish before being placed on the hot plate, after which the solution of citric acid was added to the potato starch. The hot plate was set to 100 degrees without a thermometer, and then the heating was turned on. The mixture was stirred continuously throughout the heating process. We'll know when it's done when the mixture starts to thicken, which indicates that the starch is being gelatinized. When it does this, it absorbs a huge amount of water in the process. And as you can see here, that's happening now. The mixture is turning into a thick, viscous, translucent, colorless substance. And when all is said and done, and it cools, it turns from a thick, gloopy liquid into an even thicker paste. And when it dries, it will become almost jelly-like. Here are two pieces of surplus trunking that I printed for a lighting project I completed years ago. And we're going to see if our adhesive can stick these two together. So what I did was I smothered each end of the print with a thick glob of our adhesive and I smushed them together. And we will wait for that to dry to see how well the adhesive performs. While that's drying, I want to show off the product's water solubility. So what I've done is I've filled a beaker with some water and I'm going to place a sample of our adhesive inside of it. And as you can see, with mild stirring, even without heating, I put it on the hot plate because I thought I'd need to heat it, but even in cold conditions with mild stirring, it still dissolves quite readily. And yeah, as you can see, there are no solid remains left in the beaker. The product has completely dissolved in the cold water. And this proves its water washability. So I've left it for a few days to dry, and how did it go? Well, it kind of holds the, um, the pieces of plastic together. It's quite a weak bond, as you can see by me just snapping it very easily. I think it would be vastly superior if I had added glycerin at the start, which would have made it a little bit softer and perhaps a little bit stickier, and that would have made a better adhesive. And in the future I tend to do more experiments with gelatinized starch in general, both as an adhesive and as a bulk polymer, so I'll definitely take this into consideration in the future. Anyway, a commercial analogue of what I just made is this glue stick here, which is also based on starch and it works a lot better than what I made. But that doesn't mean homemade starch adhesives can't be good. You just need to remember to add the glycerin, else your adhesive will be weak and brittle like mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show off for now. I'll definitely be doing more with uh, starch-based polymers in the future, so look forward to that. Anyway, next time, I will be finally showing off my wind tunnel that I've been working on for the past month or so. Thank you all for watching, take care, and I will see you then. Bye for now.